Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Today we'd like to talk to you about a growing trend that we're seeing with the Tesla Roadster. There seems to be an uptick in dying cells in the main battery pack. The majority of Tesla Roadsters still have the original battery pack from 2008 up to 2011. And um, this 1,000 pound battery pack was originally expected to last about 10 years by the original design engineers at Tesla. We're all pleasantly surprised that these packs now are going on 14 years, but we knew that eventually there was going to be a mass cell failure in these packs. What we're beginning to see now is an uptick in dying cells in these roadsters particularly this one. With this uptick in dying cells, every time you charge, a little bit less range is the result. And in some cases, it's pretty drastic. We have one roadster coming in right now that is actually losing 12 miles a day. What this means is that one out of 6,831 cells in a Tesla Roadster main battery pack is going resistive. And what it does is it pulls down the other cells. Now, let me explain that for a moment. This is a Roadster sheet that came out of that large battery pack. There are 11 of these sheets. There are 621 cells in each sheet, 18650 cells, and there are nine bricks, which is a collection of 18650 cells connected in parallel in each brick. The bricks are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. In this particular car, we have a problem in brick number eight. One of the cells in this collection of 69 cells had gone resistive, and the owner was beginning to see a decline in range. The reason you see a range decline in the car is because the battery safety management firmware and software and hardware in a Tesla Roadster will only allow a charge to the lowest brick voltage which in this case is brick number eight, and a cell in this brick that has gone resistive. The first thing we do when we get an owner that has what appears to be a dying cell, we get a log file. And our log file analysis program will help us pinpoint before the car even gets here which sheet that cell is in and which brick it's in. Armed with that, we then determine whether the car needs to come here, or whether there's some other fix available for that car. The first thing we do when we receive a Roadster like this with a declining range issue, we put it on life support. And the reason that is critical is because this brick with these 69 cells, if it is allowed to be drained by that resistive cell and get below two volts, then the other 68 cells eventually go defective as well. And now you have a different problem because sheets aren't being sold by Tesla individually and the availability of donor sheets is hit and miss depending on how many or few hit the auctions as collision damage cars. So what we do when we get these cars that have dying cells, we immediately put them on life support, which keeps this dying brick above two volts to prevent permanent damage by injecting DC to keep it at a level above two volts. Once we receive the car and put it on life support, we have an array of diagnostic tools that allow us to go into the pack and identify which brick has the resistive cell. The next step is surgery, where we take the pack out of the car, we remove the sheet, and we put it on a bench, and we begin to isolate that bad cell. Our procedure finds that one offending cell out of almost 7,000, and then isolates and neutralizes it. The car never realizes it lost one of 7,000 cells and it continues to operate and go back to baseline or the range that it had before that cell started to go defective. If a dying cell roadster battery pack is not addressed quickly and the cell is allowed to drain the rest of the cells in that brick, your only solution at that point may be waiting for a Tesla replacement battery pack with current wait times running about two to three years. By addressing a declining or resistive cell immediately, we're able to put these cars back on the road, back in play, until Tesla comes along with a solution for you with a replacement battery pack. Here's some examples of roadsters that have come in that have had dying cell problems and came in dead and were revived and put back on the road. 
There are a couple of ways that you can put yourself in line for a replacement battery pack with Tesla. You may as well do it now because your pack is going to die at some point in time. The first thing you can do is send an email to Roadster Service NA for North America at Tesla.com requesting a replacement battery pack with your VIN, of course, and your contact information. The second thing you can do is email us at evagruber.com and request our submission link for that same replacement battery pack Q, which we share with Tesla at least once a month. In this particular sheet out of this Roadster, we found one bad cell. This is what it looks like inside all that potting compound and found that it was going resistive. One of the ways we can tell that it's the offending cell is once we snip that out of circuit, you can see the voltage on this cell drop like a rock and you'll see the brick voltages begin to rise and come up because that one resistive cell is no longer draining that brick. We've performed this level of surgery on over 50 Roadsters over the last few years and only two have had recurring problems with another cell failing a year or more later. These packs will eventually give up and dying cells will become more rampant as the roadsters continue to age. Our repair process allows the owners to drive their cars until they are selected for the Tesla replacement battery solution, which is not immediate and often years away. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for watching another one of our video segments. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We'll see you next time.